What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Merker Hotel right here in Bugis. So I have stayed here before, as I was told by the front desk in 2018, which I don't really remember staying here. Merker Hotel right there. This is the lobby for check-in. Elevators, the lounge, bar. Great location though. Just came from the orchard area. I'll just show you outside here, right along the road. I think this is important to know, right? Right next to a bus station. I want to say there's an MRT nearby, which is one of the reasons why I picked this. This is actually Middle Road. Yeah, there's the MRT over there. So, great location. Let's go show you some more around the hotel here. More than, more than likely, you would arrive here. Where I originated was where the uh, taxi drops you off. So... All right, here's the pool, level seven. Okay. They say there's a laundromat here. Where's the laundromat? Wow, we are way up here. Ah, laundry. Nice. Okay. So they do have it. Show you this side over here where the gym is. Is that a jacuzzi? Wait, I gotta see if this is hot. Nope, cold. Not a hot jacuzzi. Let's see the gym. Okay. Very small gym, but hey. It's a gym nonetheless, right? And here's a look at the rooms. This here is a loft room. Not the loft hotel, but a loft room here at the Merker. Yeah. Okay, toilet. I would have put the toilet here and the shower here, but either way, it's okay. So here with this loft, you have little working area then upstairs oh here's the view uh, I'm on the fifth floor so no real view you have the bed so you have two TVs in this room I like this layout that's why I picked it it's cool but yeah let's see how the desk looks mm, fairly basic what about the mini fridge? Nothing. Sink. Oh, they do have some vanity kits. All right. And a blow dryer. And no drinking water, but they do have purified drinking water, so no bottled water. Saving the environment. All right, up here doing a night swim, doing some laundry. Just an update on the price of the laundry. So it's around like $15 Singapore just for one person to do uh, wash and dry. It's kind of expensive. It's a bit more, it's more like 16 or $17.
surprised at the price. And it's automatic detergent. Also comes with the uh, tokens you have to get from the front desk. Okay, so this is the roof. I mean, it's a cool place to go, I guess, if you just want to get some views and hang out. This is where they should put the pool. The views are nice, but... the rooftop for you at night. Here's the breakfast area. Hello, good morning. Okay, so this is on the third level. Restaurant. And they have an outdoor terrace for outdoor dining and coffee. Okay, now for my final review of the Merker in Bugis. So I found it to be a great location. It's conveniently located next to a mall, a shopping center, also close to Bugis Shopping Street, which is definitely more affordable than any of the malls in Singapore. Uh, you know, you might find some knockoff equipment there or non-name brand stuff that works pretty good. Uh, that's at Bujas Shopping Street, obviously. But then you also have uh, easy accessibility to the metro system, which in Singapore is very important. Also, it's centrally located for you to get around to, say, Marina Bay or to get to the uh, Ferris wheel or anywhere. Boat Key, Clark Key, probably a 10-minute uh, grab ride or a taxi, which I really like. Also, there's a hawker nearby. Now, as far as the quality of the pool in the room, I would say the pool is nice. Obviously, it's up there. I think it was the seventh floor. Uh, so you get like this infinity pool kind of experience. It was always cold water. There, even though it's hot here in Singapore, uh, it was overcast. So you didn't really get that nice uh, water that I personally like. It was kind of chilly. Um, they did have showers, of course, and they had the laundry, which I found to be convenient, although quite expensive. Uh, I never actually ate at the breakfast uh, at the hotel because I ate at the hawker and saved money that way. Uh, I had some wonton noodle basically every morning. The hawker is where the taxis drop you off. It's just that side facing, um, I would say, towards Marina Bay. Uh, and then the room quality, I like the loft. I've, I haven't stayed at a hotel that had a loft, although... The bottom area is quite congested, whereas the top area is just a bed. Uh, it, I felt kind of uh, crammed in there, although I did like that loft experience. Overall, I would say it is a 4.8 uh, hotel. The price was not overly expensive for the area. I mean, if you compare it against other hotels of the same quality caliber, uh, you're gonna be paying more. So I would say it's a good, it's a good uh, mid-grade hotel for Singapore option. You could probably stay there for uh, I don't know, a week if you really needed to. I personally wouldn't stay there for any more than three days. I stayed there for two this time, but it is what it is. So we'll see you guys on the next one. I'm headed to, well, actually I'm at here now at the Ondas. I'm trying it out. So we'll see you guys on that video next.